we chillin' tonight. Hey. Club. Fly, flashy, grown classy, so turn it up. Hey. Saturday mornings, no walk of shame, we fresh up. 950 lounge, that's my guilty pleasure. I don't miss my favorite show, I put everything on hold. Work the baby, even the baby said a no. When 950 come on, don't bother. I'm locked in, 10 to 1, no problem. Young lady to my right, we keep this music theme going. It's a lady I've met a few months ago and was a fan immediately. I'll be honest with you, that night was the night of uh, with the Knicks were playing somebody. I wanted to go home and watch basketball, but I'm so glad I didn't because I found somebody <laughs> that's really talented and inspirational. I've been to a couple of shows and she's back Monday night at BB King's. But before she does that, she made a pit stop here at Nafi Lounge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our show. Maiden Voyage and won't be the last, the lovely, super talented Emily Satis. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for coming. Hey, up. Emily. Hey, baby. What's up, man? This is all, this is Welcome all the Welcome to people. the barbecue. <laughs> you know, but uh, Emily, again, I, I, you, it's funny because uh, I, I went to the show and, and it was you and Sean. Sean Cornelius, big what shout out to him. And you came out and I was like, wow, this woman really tore the roof off. Wow. And, yeah, she can sing. She can sing. sing. Yeah, you can sing. sing. Because, you know, with me, I'm I'm, I'm brutally honest. I'm like, I'm, they, um, it's time to go catch the um, second half. Was he eating <laughs> when you were saying, Emily? Was he what? Eating. Don't pay he him. He should have been. He don't okay. pay him no money. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> you know, they, they, in they every, serve food. In every group, there's one that just, you know, we have to carry now. I understand. We got to carry him. Um, but again, you have such a passionate passion for music. A love for music. I mean, I I seen you guys in your jam sessions yeah. before. Talk about where that came from. Like, you know, like people have different love of things, whether that's business or professional or cars. But you you truly love music. Talk oh, yeah. about that. Oh well, music is cathartic for me. It's very mm -hmm. cathartic. It's mm -hmm. it allows me to express myself, mm -hmm. different parts of you know what I'm feeling at any time, and mm -hmm. uh, whether I'm sad or really excited or scared or or whatever you know mm -hmm. music just gives me that outlet that i can just vent yeah, and, and just, hopefully connect to the people listening yeah you know yeah. to say you know it's cool to feel what you feel you can tell you somebody know? to leave you they're saying to them that's Get it out. well that's what masquerade is all about <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. See? yeah i believe but she's sitting down and having a conversation not you yeah. know, you know right. so. now you you know you do a lot of medleys and um obviously to um Monday night is the Supremes and, and the Dream Girls, wow, yeah, Dream Girls yeah. Was from there. and it, it takes a special artist to actually carry that because everybody yeah. can't do that. Yeah, right. Yeah, but you also we just heard one of your songs. Where we're gonna play them throughout the hour. Um, you have your own your own artist with corners, your own music. Talk about that balance where people have gotten to see you at BB Kings and other places throughout the city and country, and they they love when you do the medleys. But how do you kind of balance it? Wait a minute. It's more than more than just a you know a stage a singer. Tune chick, yeah, exactly. Know? Talk about that balance and how you, you kind of you know balance your sound to what people have come accustomed to hearing you perform. Well, a, a couple of things when I do uh, tribute shows, basically to the Supremes, Dream Girls, Whitney Houston, whoever, I don't try to sound like them. I don't try to do what they do necessarily. I kind of just sing the songs. So right. I don't, because I'm not an impersonator, you know, right. so. Um, so no Ike and Tina. No, no, sing well. Sing the song the way I told you to sing it. Well, I try to, to do. <laughs> I hope not that type of distress. No, no, okay. no. Roll in, roll in now, roll girl. Eat but the I, cake, anime, eat the cake. But I actually do a tribute to Tina Turner, absolutely. And um, and what I do is I incorporate my my original music. Right. So right. you, you get people who don't know who Emily Sortis is, by saying a tribute to Whitney mm -hmm. or the Supremes, Dream right. Girls, 
you know, they're like, okay, well, we just love them. Hope she can do it, you know. And then you hope to draw them in, and then I can do my own songs mm-hmm. and introduce them. And I sell my CDs um, at the venues. And yes, uh, right. um, Sean Cornelius, my buddy, mm-hmm. comedian Don's and brother. wonderful. Oh, uh, no, I don't Not think that so. he know of. That Dom's <laughs> creeping. Um, oh, man. <laughs> see, you <laughs> leave Don alone. He ain't balling soul. nobody. Like, <laughs> but he um, designed some T-shirts for me, yeah, Emily Satie's right. Experience. So mm-hmm. we sold those for a while. So, um, yeah, so just kind of introduce myself to people mm-hmm. through people they already know and love. Right. And then hopefully they, they enjoy what, I, what I've what i written and that. produced. Yeah. So talk about your origins. Um, again, origins? Be a, be As a Wolverine? Getting, well, maybe with this guy. Wow, she Wolverine. says Wolverine. But That's just getting wrong. started. How, when, did, when did you come <laughs> about the age that you said, you know what, just singing in the house or, you know, singing and, you know, uh, just feeling good. Well, I know I can do this because this is what you do. This you is mean your professionally? Profession. Yes. Oh, this is after I graduated from college and got laid off from my first job and uh, looking for another job and, you know, came across an open mic and I'm like, maybe I should, you know, not go to grad school. Maybe yeah. I should try this. You know, uh-huh. you just kind of stumble into it because you have to have the confidence yeah. to, to get up uh, there in front of a bunch of people. Yeah, I still get yeah, very yeah, nervous because yeah, yeah. you hear all the people talking and it's <sighs> like, oh my God, okay. That just means you're alive. I hope that so. That's your human. I hope so. Yeah. Then you get on there and you go into survival mode. Right. So you, you have to make it work. Right. But, um, so I, you have, but you have the confidence to say, I can have the business acumen to pay my bills. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's what really messes a lot of people up is they have the God-given talent, but they don't always have the business sense to. Or the passion. Or, well, the passion sometimes for the art is there, but the business sense. Right. Wow. Dealing with different musicians, dealing with different singers, right. different right. venues, different right. owner. You know, right. you have to be able to communicate and get paid. I commend you, know? you for that because it's not easy. People people talk about it all the time. I want to do this. I want to do that. But it's that we ever thought or believed that. You know, tomorrow's not promised, and I'm going to make it. Like I tell people all the time, I'm always going to roll the dice on me. Right. If there's anybody right. I'm going to roll the dice on, it's Kevin That's MP. Right. That's right. Now, if it don't work, it just don't work. Right. But one you thing I know for sure, I pay taxes every year, and I'm going to die eventually. So why not in between, while I'm writing my tombstone, I'm writing my world, my my script, to be successful. And again, Absolutely. sometimes as I've gotten older, I've talked to myself that way because if you don't go for it, you'll just sit back and go, what if? And regret. Now, a lot of people go with the what if, well, I, and I'm talking to somebody particularly in this room. Well, I know, I know it can happen, but you know what? If you never put it out there, you'll never know what How the far grass can smell like. That's if right. you know, oh, hey, a dog is messing the grass. I don't want to go in grass, but the grass could be really soft and pleasurable. Mm-hmm. So I commend you for that because it's not easy. Thank you. Yeah, Thank no you. doubt. So let, let's talk about what Emily does when, you know, again, you, you have you ever had a situation where, like, uh, a Tina Turner or the Supremes have heard you do their medleys. <clears throat> Has it been a situation in the past where somebody goes, wow, that girl really rocked my song. Can you give us a story of that? Oh, you mean the original artist? The original oh, artist. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Well, they need to find out. We gonna, well, I'm going to help them because you, 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 <laughs> right. you did one with, when I first, um, after the show you first did, you guys did a, um, it was a, a, a soul review and uh, with you and Sean. And it, it, you tore the roof off. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and I mean, so I'm like, I won't mention the artist, but it, you, I enjoyed more than what you were doing in the art, the original artist. And that's really? crazy because you wow. do it differently. Yeah. It's yeah. not, it's not like you're trying to reenact those words. You do it differently. Right. right. And, you I'm know, more passionate of how she sings. Oh, the song. I know. I know you found a key word. So you're saying it like ten times today, but. It's more. It's, it's more than that. It's it's the it's again when somebody is a student of the game, like yourself. You're a student of the game. You put the work in to create the nooks and crannies. Because again, it's like we do a show here, and somebody can say, "Oh, you're trying to sound like Steve Harvey." No, we do what we do. You know, again, I'm a fan of a Howard Stern. I'm a fan of the two live stews. I'm a fan of Ricky Smiley. Right. But I'm trying to find ways in that you only get what you get here from these four gentlemen. That's right. So I, you do that as well. Yeah. Talk about growing up in New York. In the South Bronx, in yeah. the Boogie Down. I yeah. love it. Well, I'm the youngest of 12 children. Mm-hmm. My parents oh, had They didn't have oh, cable. Wow, they, they, what is going on? I didn't watch TV. That's that old school film right cable. there. That's that old school. <laughs> 10, that's 10, 12. BC. That's BC right before yeah, cable. Yeah, right. before cable. That's yeah. Right. What, what, what was going on? Well, no, my parents had 12 kids, and, mm. and uh, 
Uh, we said, no, I, don't mean, I love the way you said it. My parents, meaning their same mother and father. I love married. that. My yes. Married. Married. Yeah. married. Yeah. married. Yeah. I love that's that. Old that's, that old, that's, that's that old, old school. Love. That's right. that old that's school. That's, that's, that's right. James and Florida love. Right. right. That's, that's, <laughs> I wanted to make that very right. clear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, and we grew up in the South Bronx, and we went to Catholic schools uh, for the most part. And uh, we just always, till this day, we always have each other's backs. And, and being the youngest, you learn the most. because the baby. You have 11 people mm. telling you what to do and how mm. to do it. So, right. how, how was that growing up in a house of 11 people? What, what was the breakdown? It five was fun. Boys, oh, girls. Uh, seven girls and five boys. Mm. Damn. How, how, how was that? How, what, what Here's did, a story. What it, was a fun, it was a fun, you know, be, it was fun. Oof. I thought everybody grew up that way. Really? Until I really? realized they were like only children. I'm like, you're like all by yourself? Really? Yes, yeah. yes. You know, yes, so. Yes, um, <laughs> what was the bathroom protocol like? Well, we had two bathrooms. Quick. Right? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Show how you glow. Y'all couldn't go in your parents' bathroom. Bathroom. That was their personal bathroom. No, we had to share. To oh, twelve okay. kids, we got both bathrooms. Oh, that's good. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, but I mean, again, I mean, grow up twelve kids in the South Bronx. Blessings yeah. to your family for keeping that together. That is not yeah. easy. Yeah, we yeah, had our aunt and uncle easy. that had ten. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. And when you have two people on the same page, yeah. you know what I mean, that yeah. put family as a priority, yeah. right. not doing what I want to do and forget everybody else, mm-hmm. it's a lot easier. And then, you, you you know, the older ones help the younger ones. So yeah. Right, yeah. the parents could kind of... So your open mic, you packed the house. You just had the family in the front th- That In the beginning, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what happened. That's a good that's thing. A, that's, that's a good, good thing. thing. That's, that's exactly what happened. That's a very yeah, good thing. We support each other in whatever anyone is doing. My sister does a West African dance class like a few oh, times a week. Nice. And um, she just had a birthday celebration, oh. and we all, you know, we came and supported. Well, we family now. You invite us next. That's time. right. That's no, right. Add it us on. Now it's no. now it's sixteen. You don't. You don't want. You don't want. She's the one to keep the door closed. Hi, right, hi, rodeo. Bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, you go home. You get home safe, boo boo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break. We got we got some more elements to teach music. I want to oh, come man. back and really talk about your your individual art form what you're doing now and the creativity you're doing and where you're looking to go with that okay and being an independent artist the the challenges and the, and the struggles right to get it out there but we're here with the lovely talented yeah. Elmise Ortiz and you've been listening to her music throughout this hour talk about that when you hear your music are you, are you like um certain people when they hear their cells perform or they is it a is it a a, a shyness is it like i know that's good or, i mean what's the feeling when you hear your own stuff um, when I hear my own stuff, yeah. uh, I'm still critiquing it. Yeah. That is true. Uh, but I enjoy it, too. I mm-hmm. wrote I wrote songs that I, I really enjoy. I don't, um, you know, you just have to put it out there eventually. Yeah. You just have yeah. to stop mm-hmm. creating and just say, right. okay, that's it. I'm reloaded. There you go. Yeah. And just get it <laughs> that girl's yeah. good. <laughs> Without question. <laughs> Black oh, Tourette. Yeah. He's got a sickness. I didn't know I had, I didn't give you his name. You didn't, you didn't give nobody I, did you the, have a brother like the statement. I, like, you gotta yeah. give her at least the, the statement now, so she can understand, understand everything. Well, <laughs> okay, Rodeo's actually my blood brother. Oh, okay. He he's the old. He came feet first, so there's a you know <laughs> oxygen situation. But he has a thing called Black Tourette. He's happy, smiles, he talks very very charming individual. But he's got a real sickness, and he's he, trying to say I'm like the clown saying. No, am I saying I'm just saying he just he's just ignorant, <laughs> but he can't help but he can't <laughs> help the ignorance. Ignorant. Ignorant. No, that's what he, not ignorance, ignorant. Um, he ignorant. can't help him. So it just kind of pops up out of the time. So forgive him. He, you might, he might. I'm sure he'll be at Monday Night Show. Oh and if you God. hear somebody screaming from the back, just it. keep singing. It's rodeo, right, probably. Right. Though, right, you know. Right. <laughs> Where my daddy records? I mean, you know, just that crazy things like that. For no I reason, he'll just say stuff. My daddy. Where right. blind metal <laughs> jelly at? You know. So all the plastic bags is wrinkled. Like you yeah, know, exactly. Why he just does stuff like that? Why like, water wet? Right, um, yeah. But let's talk about again. As an independent artist, as creating your own music, yeah. Um, I know we've talked about this offline about the uniqueness you have with uh, your engineer and the studio mm-hmm. you work with, just the mm-hmm. family situation. But talk about just getting it out there. I mean, obviously, we live in a, the, I think it could be the golden age of entertainment with technology because anybody who's anybody can just create something with a phone. You don't need a big camera. You don't need a studio. You can use a phone. I mean, where you even record at is not technically a studio. Now you, that everything's you, digital. You, right, yeah. you create it. Yeah. But talk about the business of music when it comes to Emily. Well, I, I love being with people like you who support mm-hmm. what we do mm-hmm. and give us a platform to share our music with your listeners. Right. And that's one of the best ways to um, 
reach a lot of people is to do right. like a, a radio mm -hmm. show. Um, a good one. A, a yeah, hopefully yes. a good one. Yeah. It's a lot out here. Yeah. Trust yeah. me, yeah. I tell you. We're going to talk about that. Get that right now. I mean, you, you didn't hear that from me, but I ain't one to gossip. I'm just saying. You heard it from all of us. <laughs> Get it right now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and doing the live shows and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, that's basically how we get it out. There's the live mm -hmm. shows and internet radio or radio and, uh, you know, just uh, word of mouth. Yeah. and. Well, BB Kane's, that's a big platform. Yeah, main stage. Yeah, yeah. We've, I, we've been there like all, all month. Mm. We'll be there mm. next week as well doing our timeless duets of Valentine's show with Marcus oh. Simeone, a really yeah. great singer. Yeah, you have all the, and, um, all the, all the, the jump offs will be there. There's going to be a lot of fights at that point at that uh, show. Oh, right? I hope not. <laughs> A lot of a lot of cameras going off. What is the <laughs> mental preparation for doing a show at BB Kings? Or just doing a show in period. What is what is your no. process? Well, an hour before, two hours oh, an, before. Oh, an, oh, an hour or two. Oh, okay. Usually we have our sound check, and um, if there's any last minute rehearsals or things we want to go over with the band or the background singers, we do that. Mm -hmm. We try to relax, eat something just to get our energy up, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and. Uh, Try to keep the nerves. I still, I don't know why. I still get nervous. It's crazy. That's a good, never, that's, never that's, lose that's that. That means that you're on point. That's thing. natural. That means that you're on point. Though. But that's it's, it's so uncomfortable for me. Yeah, it's such an uncomfortable feeling. So right. I'm like, okay, Emily, let's talk about something else. Because then they, you know, then it's As long easier. as you don't get indigestion, you good. Uh, right, right. Okay. You don't want to do that. What, not really? On stage. <laughs> really? Not, man. Indigestion? You don't want to breathe. Listen. You want to be able to breathe. Yeah. He can't breathe, period. So this is what we talk about. This the random... Indigestion stage, man. Nothing to do with You're talking anything. About getting, being ready mentally to prepared and going on stage and, and performing in front of a, oh, a BB Kings, which, you know, if you're not from the New York area, that's one of the biggest stages you could actually step on yeah. besides a Madison Square Garden or now a Barclays. BB right. Kings is one of the biggest, most performed stages in local Manhattan. Right. So to be able to be at that stage every for the last month yeah. is, a, is a credit to yourself. Yeah. You need Thank to hold you. that with high regard. How, 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 how did that happen? How did how that get started? Like anything else, you know, when you're building a career or a business, mm -hmm. you have to take steps. Yeah. And then you have to get a reputation. You have to be dependable and reliable and hopefully put on a really great show and connect with the audience. It's right, not, right. oh, look at me sing, look how I sing, but I'm, I'm a silly person on stage. I like to make people laugh, you know, so people bond with the personality mm -hmm. as well. And, and also, I get some <clears throat> kick-ass musicians. Yeah, oh, yeah. And yes. really great background singers. So, yeah, so my job is easy. I don't have to be like, what did you just play? Right. I don't have to do that. I could just do what I need to do because I have some really great people right. on the stage with me. And I can vouch for that because I, I saw you guys in rehearsal one day and I like I I, I don't want to lead. It, mm -hmm. it was just that, you know. Again, just make you feel good music. And yes. again, it's for any age group. I mean, again, yeah. Monday night, BB King's in New York, Forty Second Street, Times Square. It doesn't really matter if you're a fan of good music, just good vibes, and have an even now. And again, mm -hmm. Nafti Lounge got free tickets, so you really can't complain. You could be like Rodeo, be the cheapest dude around, and still be able to like a star. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> Show, give me the best seat in the house. Gawson, Gawson, Gawson. <laughs> um, but again, like I said, you will have to pay a fee at each table, so you will have to, don't, don't just run out and think you're gonna not have nothing to eat. I ain't you. Exactly. But any event, we, we got a few minutes left, Emily, and I, I can't thank you enough for mm. coming. Um, Today. It won't be your last. We're going to rock this music on our platform. Thank you regardless. so much. That is the best support you could give an independent artist is just getting our music out well, there. Well, you, you supported me with the last show you did. You invited me up on the stage, yeah, even though I was absolutely. making a call in the back. And so I appreciate you for that. But called him off guard, didn't you? Yeah, it's like, oh, enough love, enough love. Like, damn, took enough love. Right, get your enough. ass off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you beat it, would you? <laughs> but yeah. I know, obviously, again, you you love the platform, you do yeah. the medleys. But what's the future hold for Elmi? Talk about where you want, where you see yourself going. Give us the 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 the, the thirty six month window. Well, the, oh, thirty six. Okay, yeah, well, real quick, immediately the I want to. Um, <laughs> develop my original music show. Yes. Like just basically do my original music and some cover tunes. Basically what cover tunes are are songs that you already know, but mm -hmm. I like to redo the way I want to do it. Yeah. You know? Almost like what Luther Vandross does. You yeah. Know, he takes a song by the Carpenters and makes it you think it's a Luther He owns it. A writer, right. Yeah. Right? So I want to get that show out there and, and, and uh you know, because I want to open for people. I wouldn't. Bruno Mars comes to town and be like, you want a little wanna be like me? Right. Opening for you or something, you know. Um and just to tour my music and different. Are you going to any of these Grammy parties? 
I don't know people like that. Oh, I'm sorry, don't. Rodeo, just like you. You know, um, oh, but uh, I would love to. <laughs> Maybe ask know? Wally; he might have some hooks. I, I, I would love to um, <laughs> be in that mix. Um, well, again, let me tell you something: the way you're going, that won't be long won't because be long. they'll be calling you. And again, like mm -hmm. I said, we we talked offline. I'll bring it on the mic. We got a little platform that can help you with that. Thank uh, you, thank that you, interview thank show you. again. Monday night at BB Good. King's. This you, superstar you, young lady, Emily Sertiz. Go ahead. You can sing, so oh. you're singing. He was there at the last time. I was there. You're singing. And yeah. singing. Okay. So, you know, like, you. You, you probably get somebody pregnant Monday night. I hope so. When you sing. <laughs> so I hope so. so. <laughs> when you be, when you be, uh, I, I won't be there. I, I, I won't be there. So, I'll be good. I will, the question I gotta is, work when y'all say that, would she be in court as a testimony? No, Emily with an IE, though, when you name the baby. <laughs> Emily oh, with an IE. Right. Right. I didn't say me. I said somebody, <laughs> not me. No, 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 no. Well, I, I already told you about your music when I was listening to I already told you how I like it. Like I said, less music and more vocals. That's what I love. Yeah. I like to hear the purity. Uh, of he's a Bobby style. Blue Band fan, oh, okay. so he likes old music. Nice. Not that your music is old, but he just likes old music. Again, one more time, where can people reach out to you, find more information about um, you? Well, I, they can follow me on Instagram, E. Sertice Music, um, Facebook, Emily Sertice. Got my CDs. I can, um, I don't know, uh, Emily Sertice, uh, info at EmilySertice.com, my mm -hmm. website, EmilySertice.com. Mm -hmm. You know, so just Chris. reach out, let me know, you know, you're in town and try to get you in the show for free or... Get you a CD, whatever you want. A real superstar in the making, Emily oh, Satie. Thank you, thank you thank so you much Kevin. for coming thank on this you, show. It's been yeah. fun.